Howdy, y'all. In Grass Talk Radio podcast number 96, called 10 Good Gadgets, I mentioned the importance of having a very portable, easy to set up way to market your CDs and stuff like that. So I just want to show you the thing that I talked about in the episode, and I've sort of set it up here with some old CDs and stuff. This thing began its life as an old piece of military gear. It was some sort of like Korean War electronics equipment. A frequency generator, calibrator thing. I'm not When I pack this back up, I'll show you. I may be able to actually see the numbers on it. Anyway, this thing is just a beautiful oak plywood box built like a tank because it was built to mill spec. It was originally painted olive drab and it had a canvas cover and carrying straps and all this kind of stuff. And inside it was this electronic gizmo, which I removed and gutted it. And I stripped the, stripped the olive drab paint off and varnished it with a couple of coats of poly. And this thing has stood up to many, many years of toting around to gigs. And what's so great about it is that when you get to the gig, you just get a bar stool, something like that, and open the front, and you're pretty much set up. So if I arrived at the gig, these would be off and inside here. Got some business cards. Now before I would pack it up, I had this piece of high density foam that I cut and made so that you could press that in there and it would keep the CDs from rattling around. And all you had to do was close the door and off you go. So let me let me show you the features of this really cool box. And if you're you know a handy type of dude or dudette, you might want to build something like this. This thing was great. And I may be using it again one of these days, who knows? What I loved about it were all the little panels and cubby holes. On the back side, if you open this panel up, it's got these two little, little locks. That's where the power supply was for this gizmo. There is room in there to put about 25 CDs. Now we carried other things. We'd carry pictures, spare business cards. There's still a roll here of door prize tickets. We used to, uh, at, at our steady gig, give away door prizes, and it would keep people hanging around, you know, longer because you were calling out prizes. I'd get people to donate, the, like, the Bluegrass Fake Book or hats or get the, the restaurant to donate, uh, you know, gift certificates. We'd give away CDs, stuff like that. So that sort of paraphernalia lived back here and spare CDs and things like that. So here you can see the, the original schematics for this gizmo. This was called a frequency meter BC221AC, whatever that is. And I've been in ham radio for a long time, and I don't know what this thing was, but it was some sort of vital equipment for calibrating radars or something, who knows. Military spent a lot of money on this really nice box, so it got repurposed as the Pony Express General Store. So the back panel, you could stash extra CDs and close that up with these little latches. The front side, when you got, like I said, when you got to the gig, oh, before, let me mention this little panel. This little panel, I installed a lock. And the idea here was to have a little secure place to keep the money bag. You had to have the change bag. So you had your little bag with $20 in ones and fives because you need to show up with some change. So that lived here and would be locked up at the end of the night. You know, maybe you're on break and just keep, keep some riffraff from easily stealing your money. It's not real security. They can walk off with the whole thing, but it kept the honest folks honest. And so I installed that little lock, which was not on the original. And you can see in here the original olive drab army paint. I never stripped this little compartment. And this is only about 
three inches deep, two inches deep. And I think this held a set of headphones. And the, there was a little spring here that held some kind of special calibration tool. But anyway, this little compartment is just great for at the end of the night, closing it up and locking it. And of course, I would keep that key. When you're at the gig, the money bag would live behind, in the back because you needed easy access to it. So I put it in the back compartment when we got there. But at the end of the night, it would get stashed in here. But it was as simple as when you arrived at the gig, there was nothing to it. You simply found a bar stool or something to put it on and open the front. And this I painted uh, black lacquer and used to carry a piece of this uh, sidewalk chalk so that you could write the price on it. If, if you didn't like 10 bucks that night, you could make it 12, you know. You know, or if CD sales were slow, you could have a markdown sales, CDs, five bucks, whatever. So it gave you a little chalkboard there. And I mentioned this piece of high density foam, which kept the stuff from rattling around and you get cracked CD cases. So that would be laid aside during, during the gig. And inside I would always have some business cards, put them business cards out there. So there's, there's your little mini store. And then I found this little, it was a little rubber stand that would hold something like 15 CDs vertical. I got it at the dollar store or something back when CDs were really popular. And you could set it on a shelf and stand up CDs. So I cut that thing down. It's just a little rubber channel with three slots in it so that when I got to the gig, all you had to do was pull out a couple of CDs and stick them in those slots. And there you go. You are ready to sell. You know, it's just so easy. And at the end of the night, what didn't sell goes back in the box. You put the anti-rattle foam back in, stick your chalk in. You don't even really, you can just cram the business cards in here or be as neat as you like. You could put them in the back. Close her up. And you are ready for the road. Put your seat, put all your, keep all your junk back there, spare set lists, whatever you want to, bottle of liquor, whatever. This is on the back side so they will never see it. And there you go. What a beautiful old box. The Pony Express General Store.